Connor is playing a little better with uh, each and every match that he's played so far this week. Is the defending champion Time. in good shape to win the tournament? If he did, it would be his first of the season. If you would have asked me that yesterday, I would have said no. I'm going to change my opinion today based on how comprehensive this victory looks to be. It's going to get on and off the court. I think he's I think he's getting ready. Well, he's ready here to put this one to bed. Yeah, still plenty of positives Albandian can take from his North American hard court swing so far. Remember, he's ranked 117 in the world going into Washington. Much improved now. And uh, mixing it with the big boys once more. It's all too easy for Murray. Again, the combination of shots works really well for him. And he is making Melbourne oh, look slightly sluggish now. And at the tail end of this rather one-sided affair. He did question whether Melbandian would have enough left in the tank, and Murray's exploited that to the full here. Match point. Shots like that have been few and far between. Still match point. That's a lovely way to finish the match. Looked uh, fully concentrated throughout today. A very different scenario from his match yesterday against uh, Gael Monfils. Now Bandian pretty much hit the wall today. And you've got to be in good shape if you're going to mix it with the likes of Murray. Now Bandian unable to do so today. So a comfortable win for the British number one. Only took him an hour and nine minutes to win 6-2. 6-2. Comprehensive, solid from the get-go. Never seemed to be concerned or worried. Came out hitting the ball very well, returned well, served well. And for now, Bannon, you'd have to say nothing really clicked for him coming into this match. And he'd never lost to Murray until today. So I'm sure he was hoping for better. But Murray had an answer. And uh, as you say, sometimes you just wake up on the wrong side of the bed. For now, Bannon, he's got to think about all the good things today against the number four player in the world, world just not being able to make the shots. But it's back-to-back -back matches that have killed him. Uh, big wins this week, good tournament in Washington, plenty of positives for him to take away from the first two tournaments of his uh, North American hardcore swing. But uh, today, let's talk in more detail about Murray, the improvements he made to his game, and what he's gonna need to do to win on Sunday. Well, first of all, on a service standpoint, his first serve percentage was excellent. He threw in a lot of big aces. He neutralized the Nalbandian returner serve. Nalbandian liking to step in, not just take on second serves, but first serves. 
Murray served extremely well under pressure. And then from the back of the court, Murray handled everything being thrown at him, whether it was pace, whether it was off pace. He was so consistent. He was much steadier. He won more than 50% of those rallies against Albanian from the back. He played the big points well, didn't he? Converting four of eight break points. That's outstanding and uh, did well to save uh, the only break point opportunity Albanian had. Great performance. Murray, the first player through to the semi-finals in the top half of the draw. So we'll play the winner of uh, the next match up here on Centre Court between uh, Nadal and Kohlschreiber this evening. It's uh, 